That lady, she is a teacher, 30, uh, 32 years old. Five times she, they are doing sihr on her on a different time, on a different places, on a different ways. And every time the jinns comes back with no success. طيب. They found this, this lady's name in the sihr and they found the same name in the contact, on the contact list. So the police called the contact list, this lady, and they called her. Now they said, see, we found, you know, that, you know, there is, there is you know, a, a lady trying, attempting to do sihr on you. And there's like a more than five times sihr has been din, uh, done on you on a different timing, on a different places. She said, I, I don't know that, you know, that my family members, they are abnormal. Alhamdulillah, everyone is fine. But all we felt during all these, you know, years, every time, time to time, what we are feeling, that there is a pressure in the window, as there is a wind, you know, so you, know, you, you hear the pressure of the window, and sometimes we see that the lights are fl flickering, you know. So what we thought that, you know, this is something, you know, normal, maybe our house in a, in a place or in a position that, you know, the wind, you know, even it's not a windy day, but it, you know, we feel the pressure, you know, the, the windows are moving a little bit. And about the lights, we said, oh, maybe this is from the government. So we didn't really pay attention to that, what was going on. And the Sahira from the other side, what she's saying, she said, every time I send the jinn to that lady, the jinn goes all the way to the house, the jinn are unable to see the people at home. So this is who's saying this? Which? And this is more than one, actually, more than one Sahir, more than one magician is saying the same thing, not only this lady. Those who are protecting themselves from the dhikr, from the adhkar, from the Qur'an, the jinn are unable to see this guy. That's why they cannot attack him, that's why they cannot affect him. Now, one of the police guy, he said, may I know what you used to do? That how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is protecting you? So this is what she said, that this is what I'm doing on daily basis. And this is, you know, my advice to all of you. And this, these are the simple things and all being proven by uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the ahadith that, you know, subhanAllah, if you will do, you will be protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So first of all, this lady is saying, this teacher is saying actually, that every day, I have this habit to do the morning and evening adhkar. Morning and evening adhkar. Within this, I have certain dua that I have to do. There are three dua that she is con continuously doing it. Number one is, أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة ومن كل عين هامة ومن كل شيطان و, uh, من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة. This is a famous dua and a famous uh, protection uh, from the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and also ومن همزات الشياطين وأن يحضرون. Again, أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ وَهَامَّ وَمِنْ كُلِّ عَيْنٍ لَامَّ وَمِنْ هَمَزَاتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَأَنْ يَحْضَرُونَ So, this is the first dhikr that she used to do in the you know, morning. The second dua is, أَعُوذُ بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّاتِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ Everyone, I, I believe, knows that. So, doing this dua continuously again and again. And the third dua is, بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الَّذِي لَا يَضُرُّ مَعَ اسْمِهِ شَيْءٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ وهو السميع العليم. So she said, I used to do this, this dhikr whatsoever happened, at least these three I used to do again and again. Then also she said, with it I used to read Surah Al-Fatiha. And we know from the hadith that you know, reading Surah Al-Fatiha seven times, it's a cure. It's a cure from, from the disease, cured by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have now that this three dua, number one. Number two is Fatiha, reading Fatiha. Number three, the Surah Al-Baqarah, or at least the first few pages of Surah Al-Baqarah. And about the Surah Al-Baqarah, she used to do it every three days. Every three days, she used to read Surah Al-Baqarah. And the Prophet ﷺ said, and everyone knows, that whoever reads Surah Al-Baqarah in a house, the shayateen will not enter this house for three days. So this is very important, you know, also for all of us to do it. Either some one day will father will do, after three days the son will do, after three days the wife will do. Let's make a routine, you know, so everyone will do this every three days at home. Then also reading Ayat al-Kursi by the way. Alhamdulillah and everyone knows that you know if you just go through the Adhkar al-Sabah al masad the morning and evening Adhkar, it, most of all this is included. So Ayat al-Kursi is number four. Then number five, the last two verses from uh, Surah al-Baqarah. That is, Amana al-Rasulu bima unzil alayhi min rabbihi, the last two ayat and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, man qara'a, uh, آخر, uh, آخر آيتين من سورة البقرة كفتاه 
that whoever reads and recites these two ayat from the Surah Al-Baqarah, the last two ayat, it is sufficient for him and it is enough for him. And this is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying that. Then Surah Al-Ikhlas, and everyone knows Surah Al-Ikhlas, and Mu'awwadatin, the fifth point is the two mu'awidhats and so imagine these are simple things my brothers and sisters that subhanallah these are the simple things that you know you can do on daily basis but look at the protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and now this is we are not talking about the time of sahaba or the tabi'een this is just a two years maximum two or three years ago this has happened in Tabuk in one of the places in Saudi so this is again, and I would like to advise myself and all my brothers and those sisters, uh, don't يعني, do whatever, you know. But you know, there are a few things that you know you should not compromise in your life. That is the Athkar al-Sabah, Athkar al masa few ayat from the Quran, few uh, dhikr, few dua that the Prophet ﷺ told us. So يعني, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us, especially in a day where we, we go through this all fitan and all these problems and daily uh, masayib, daily uh, you know, calamities that we can see you know, happening here and there uh, around us. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from, from this and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who are always following the Quran, following the Sunnah, applying the Quran and applying the Sunnah in our life until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that. Wallahu ta'ala alam wa sallallahu sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam.